to Brainy Cyrus. I don't know where y'all are going to be June 9th, but her and I are going to be here for the City of Hope softball game. Sure. This lady is going to be playing in it. Have you taken softball lessons? Have you played softball before? Tell us a little about your history with that. Well, I've never played in my life, but I did okay. take one lesson last week. Uh, one of my best friends happens to be a softball coach. She played D1 in college, so okay. she's amazing. And um, and she she said I have great hand-eye coordination and that I'm going to be just fine. Good. I run into walls, so Dude. I don't think, I think you'll be doing fine. Yeah, you should probably stick with this and not play. Yeah. yeah. And did your dad, your dad kind of didn't finish the game last time. Did he give you any advice for this time? Yeah, I mean, he even though he got hurt, he's like, go big or go home. Like, leave it all on the field is like his motto. So um, he's funny. I'm glad he like he went out like that, but he had so much fun and it's so fun to see him let loose. So I am happy to take over and continue on the Cyrus legacy in the City of Hope softball game. That's perfect. And you also have a style blog called Style Native. You do. I love your jersey right now. Thanks, they made it for me. You want to yes. see the back? I do, yes. So cute. Cyrus 11, is that going to be your number for the I hope. Game? I hope so because it's Kyrie Irving's number he plays for the Boston Celtics wrong sport I know but like it's my lucky number because of Kyrie so works. fingers crossed you got number 11 and are you going to be able to kind of style up your jersey on the day or do, is it like strictly like has to be blue or the red mm, I think it has to be the blue or the red but see I think where you get creative with it is either like a cool tuck or a tie up or uh, something like that all right perfect yeah. we'll see you rocking that on the field yeah. and you have a podcast with Wells Adam called your favorite things mm -hmm. what are some of your favorite things in Nashville favorite places to eat are you a Preds fan Titans fan <laughs> um, I so I've grown up here I've lived here basically my whole life so I have so many favorites that I can't even handle um, I do love the Preds um, who doesn't it's yeah. like that's like what's like the best arena to see a sport in and exactly. like the country um, I do I love the Preds there are so many great places to eat here it over overwhelms me to even talk about. Uh, one of my favorite restaurants is right here. It's called Fifth and Taylor yes. in Germantown. It's so good. Um, I love Modo and San Anejo and all the ones in the Gulch too. Um, Crema Coffee is phenomenal. I love Frothy Monkey, Red Bicycle. Um, my favorite bar in town is called Bar Sovereign. Not a lot of people know about it. It's I've on Fifth South. Okay. Definitely check it out. Yeah. We'll be checking that out. And then last but not least, what are you excited to do besides this during CMA Fest? Who are you excited to see, catch up with friends? Because like you said, you've been here almost your whole life. So I'm sure you know a lot of people in town. Yeah, um, it's so fun to just run around the city. And, and I like last year, I remember running from my friend Jackie Lee, who actually met here at the softball game last oh, awesome. year. He played on the, one stage. And then I ran over to see my friend Ryan Falaze play on another stage. And then I got to run over to the arena and see um, Dan and Shay play at Ascend. And like it's, it's honestly like just running all over town, getting to watch my friends perform. And that's something that's so special that you just don't get it anywhere else so I'm looking forward to doing that again this Perfect. year it's probably about to rain so we're gonna wrap this up but thank you so much Brandy we'll thank see you, you. June 9th